with a little dropper, take out some of that fluid. I use the same dropper, so I make sure that I don't get it into the bulb. Because it's easy okay. to clean as long as it's in this stick part, but as soon as it gets to the circular bulb, it's just a little bit harder. Not that it can't be done. That's just like a little nitpicky thing that I do for myself. <laughs> um, oops. And then this. So this is a little weird if you've never done it. You kind of just squirt this into each side of the chamber. Until it like fills up like until that. Until it fills it. So like one or two of those will fill it? Yeah. And it's only held in there by water tension. Hmm. I try to keep the bubbles out. It's hard to completely prevent them. Mm -hmm. But at least in your field of view, try to keep as little as possible. So if you overfill this, it's going to spill all over the place. And then you're going to cry because your very oh. expensive microscope is going to get poop water all over it. Uh -oh. And it will destroy your lenses. <sighs> we don't want that. So just be really, really careful with that part of it and then moving it from there to here. Um, just like quick microscope stuff. So this is the stage and that's where the, the slide sits. And it can be moved up and down by this It's a new microscope, but these on both sides will move it up and down. These are the, they're called objectives. So you have a 4X all the way up to 100. Mm -hmm. um, all you're going to worry about using is the 4, mm -hmm. possibly the 10. So it depends on your eyes and your own preference. I usually look at fecal egg counts on a, um, say more often than not, a 10 times power. But 4 is just as, just as fine. So either that or that, and they just click into place. Um, the stage will have to get moved up to probably about that point, but you'll be looking through and see when, when it, it starts focuses. to come into focus. When it starts to come into focus with this, after turning this big knob, this is called a coarse adjustment because it makes those really big movements. This, which you can't even see, fine. is the fine focus. So this little knob on the outside and on this side of the microscope, it's this little guy. Okay. Um, outside of the coarse focus, the fine focus will make it really defined when you're looking through the, the eyepieces. Um, and then you move your, so once it's focused, don't touch these again, or you're gonna have to go through the whole process of getting it back. You can, you're gonna have to move obviously to see each of these squares. So these little knobs here move the slide back and forth. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to play with it. It's like so see left, right, it's left, like right. A oh image. yeah, right, yeah. What you think you're, what you're doing here is going to be the opposite of what you're seeing. Okay. So it's kind of funky. You have to play with it to get used to where you're going. <laughs> um, and then the eyepieces can also get adjusted. So um, I'll have it set for mine. Just kind of, if you remember your number, as everyone's going through, it'll be easier. I know mine are, it's, I'm always set at a 60, but you'll change it for your eye width. Okay. Um, so I'm going to real carefully put this on here. And the light switch is over here. I'm really excited about my new microscope because it has an <laughs> LED light and it doesn't get hot. Nice. Usually they get super hot. <laughs> so I've had a lot of fun with this. Um, and then over here, I, I, I don't like it bright, super bright because I feel like my retinas are getting burned out of my head. <laughs> but yes. if you need it brighter, <laughs> there's this on the side and you can, you can adjust. You can also adjust, this is called a condenser. Mm -hmm. So this little tiny lever, if you look up here, you can see what it's doing. Yeah. It's kind of blocking. Allowing your, more light. Allowing more or less. Light. Yeah. 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 It's like your iris. Yeah. Of your eye. Well, like have camera shutter. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, so then you start looking through here. I'm going to get it into, you can see where you're at, um, kind of on the slide, get an idea, kind of center it for yourself. I'm just, I'm not looking through here. I'm just staring at the slide. Scoot it up as high as it goes. And then you can start to focus, define focus and figure out exactly where you are.
So if you look, everyone can look through, but right now the blue lines are in focus, which may look pretty, but that's but not what we want to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We want to see what's in yeah. there. Yeah, so we can't see anything from this view. Okay. We'll just count, we'll have zero eggs. <laughs> Why? So you have to like put it up to 10 magnification? So I'm going to leave it at four, but I'm going to adjust it so that you're looking. The and other I'm just going to turn, actually, go ahead and do it if you want. So do the last one to like. Okay. So this fine focus knob, you can turn that all you want, but turn it until a different layer comes into focus. And if it's not quite enough with the fine focus, you can use the coarse focus knob, the bigger one, and just very slight adjustments. And you'll see all of the brown poop slurry come into <laughs> view. Because okay. usually you just yeah. see like fibers and... you're going through these if you're like oh there's something in the background that's fuzzy that I want to see better just no problem just use okay. your little fine focus Tom and go find it because it this will focus on one plane but you have a fluid level that's you know a millimeter or two thick so you can move to adjust through that thickness 